I was trained in such tactics. Sisters? They don't look much like sisters. Just saying. Buying in bulk will ensure profit, Cujo. That's the end goal, not your petty research. Stop being a coward and grow a damn spine. Ah, well then. We'll continue this later. <coughs> We're glad you could finally make time to join us, Director Grimm. What she means is, thank you for coming. We're sure you're busy. Very, Doctor. Very. Pardon me if I forego more idiotic pleasantries. Why are we moving my fortress to the Far East? I gave no such order. Ah, you likely haven't met. This gentleman is Director Grimm, advisor to Fenrir HQ and commander of Friar. You are beginning to try my patience, Rachel. 
why don't you take after your sister a little more? <laughs> Do mind your manners before the director, Rachel. Of course. We need to see Blood and Godark soldiers together in combat situations. There are more than enough Aragami here. There's no need to travel to that madhouse. I won't put my operation at risk on some whim. HQ does not simply grant approval to anyone who asks. They insisted on seeing the Godark soldiers in combat with various Aragami. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, uh, even so. Miss Yuno you know, makes her home at the Far East Branch. She does command much influence with Fenrir. It would be wise to grant her some aid. <sighs> Very well. I allow this frivolous exercise. However, I want assurances that neither Blood nor the Godark soldiers shall take casualties. None at all. I'd never dream of betraying your trust. Very well, submit your proposal, I care not. Dr. Leia, would you remain for a while? The rest of you may go. Uh, thank you. Spineless! That goes for you, too. Sir, what about the unmanned operations for Godark soldiers? Not now, you fool. Leave me, Cujo. Thank you for seeing the wisdom in our plan, Director. <laughs> I do wish you would be kinder to my sweet little sister, though. This morning already put me in a foul mood. I suppose her disobedience only frustrated me further. Oh, she's a contemptuous girl. Of course, I understand. Is something else troubling you? Oh, uh, yes. It's just a boring paperwork problem. Something concerning the bulk order of artificial muscles for the Godark soldiers. HQ has begun to interfere. Again. Are you still going on about that silly order? You shouldn't focus so much on the profit. Think of all the people that will benefit. Oh, nonsense, girl. Such an investment must guarantee a substantial monetary return. And that, after all, is what drives Fenrir, is it not? Well then, Director, <laughs> it seems that some new arrangements must be made. Agreed. <laughs> Whatever you are. 
Commencing phase one. Duty calls. <laughs> 
can be of some assistance. <laughs> Dr. Leia, why are you opposed to testing unmanned operations? It's the most efficient way forward with the God Ark soldiers. I'm not opposed. I simply comprehend that we cannot begin a new test phase under current conditions. How could you allow this? HQ insists that the use of God Ark soldiers is unnatural. Many former God Eaters have lent their voice to this protest. <sighs> I do as I must. If we can't get solid results and quick in this next testing phase, we will be forced to scale back the program. It is out of my hands. I am sorry, Doctor. I only ask that you try to understand for my sake. Very well. Reporting in, Director Grimm. I was informed you wished to speak with my team and I. Oh, as per Dr. Rachel's request, I want your blood unit to take the lead in conducting the upcoming God Ark Soldier exercises. To elaborate, I then... Uh, Kujo, elaborate for me. Of course, Director. I understand that you, Captain Visconti, and you, Ms. Allenson, worked under Dr. Rachel and Dr. Leia. Yes, that's true. They raised us, in fact. Both Sheila and I served as test pilots in earlier phases of the God Ark Soldier Project. Very good, yes, very good indeed. Then I'll be brief. I need you to observe the soldiers in combat and defend them, if necessary. We require one-on-one -on -one combat data. So your task is to clear the operations area. Please ensure that nearby Aragami will not be a threat. So we're to play the opening act. Exactly. And you'd best not forget it, boy. The God Ark soldiers are to be the stars of this show. Do I make myself understood? Yes, sir. Excellent. You'll be briefed on site, etc., etc. Mission requisites and such. Handle it, Cucho. I'm a busy man. Of course. Uh, Captain Visconti, I'll go into more detail at the mission briefing, if that's acceptable. Very well. Thank you, Doctor. Until then.
doing this? Is blood still engaged? Yes. God Arc Soldier Beta is still in combat. <sighs> Friar, come in. God Arc Soldier Beta has taken severe damage. What are your orders? What? Its evasion control must be faulty, although it could be a spatial awareness problem. We ran tests, but nothing like this. Oh, damn it! Shield, I'll deactivate God Arc Unit Beta. Defend it and repel the Aragami until we can mount a rescue. Belay that. I saw strange clouds on my return. I'm certain they were Red Nimbus. No. Red Nimbus? Yeah, it's Gil. We can confirm the clouds here. Whoa. I've heard the rumors, but I've never actually seen any. This is insane! Blood unit! Withdraw immediately! There's no time! Captain, it may be too late. Red rain has already begun to fall here. Damn! Fran, where's the transport squad? They're surrounded, trying to fight through the Aragami. I don't think they'll make it to the unit in time. All blood members, your new orders are to put on hazmat suits and move to rescue S.H.I.E.L.D. The suits are likely to take damage in battle. Do your best to avoid engaging the enemy whenever you can. Whatever you do, S.H.I.E.L.D., stay out of the rain. Silence! You don't have the authority for that. Director Grimm. Tell your minions that the God Ark soldiers are your first and only priority. I order you to aid in their defense. Sir, that's impossible. They cannot fight in the Red Rain. How dare you question me, Julius? You will defend the God Ark soldiers, even at the cost of your own lives. Have you gone mad? I won't abandon her. You know damn well how dangerous that rain is. Captain, I apologize. I cannot obey you. Fall back without me. Shield. You... 
You must leave me. To attempt to rescue with inadequate equipment will only lead to losses. I will not allow you to take such a risk for my sake. Blood must hold to the Director's orders. Stay safe and out of the rain. Captain, don't worry. I am proud to have served at your side. I will carry out my mission to the very last. Deactivated her radio. Huh. That young lady is well trained indeed. She's made the right choice and saved your career with it, Captain. Uh, hey, Captain? What is it, Nana? It's the Vice Captain. They kind of blew up in a God Arc soldier. What? What's going on? God Arc Soldier Gamma. It's on an intercept course with Beta. Julius, you will quell your unit's defiance. Moreover, you will be punished for their foolishness. It's best you remember your place. Yes, Director. Of course. I understand. But you still did something so reckless. Piloting a God Arc soldier is dangerous to the entrained. You'd need a screening first, and even then... You could have died. You could have died! You ignored orders and charged right in, and anything could have gone wrong! take such a risk for my sake. You risked a court-martial, risked your career, risked your life, just to come for me and keep me safe. All for me. No one has ever risked anything for me. No one until you. 